Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Heather C and I'm inviting you to come along and craft with me. Today I'm joining in on the collaboration stencil with us from Susan at Susan Howells Art and Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. Today is our first prompt. April 8th is create a master board with your stencils and make journaling cards. So I use the method to make the master board where you take old book pages. These book pages are just something that I would use as glue pages, so it's nothing special. I put four of these together and I stick them together with masking tape. The last time I did this, um, I think I put it together just with glue stick. So I thought I'd try the masking tape. After I get the middle layer finished, I go ahead and put some coffee dyed paper on the back and this will be where I write on the journaling cards. So um, I go ahead and glue this down with some glue stick. After I get the journaling side finished, I flip it back over and start preparing for the front where I'm going to be stenciling. So I get out an older book that has some beautiful yellow pages. And this time I'm going to use tacky glue to lay these down because I wasn't too thrilled with how the glue stick was going on the other side. I may have to retouch that side with tacky glue after I cut the master board into journaling cards. So next up, I'm picking out my stencils, and I end up picking out four different stencils, and I do a different type of stenciling on each of the four 
areas. Next, I'm ready to cut my master board into journaling cards. I decide to round the edges of the journaling cards and then I'll decorate one of the cards for you. Um, I was going to save the rest until I had a better idea of how I want to decorate.
I decided that these stickers were actually too thick for this kind of a journaling card where this type of journaling card is so thin I really needed a flat sticker and flat embellishments so that I could write on the other side easily.